down we go into the darkness because it's in the middle of the night but since we're a kitty cat we don't care what about night eye i should be able to use or is it such as something i just have silent pause no i don't have a night eye actually well be i guess it's because i'm not a khajiit per se lower waist works So I can check if I can ask is, is uh, Rana Ferris is here. Let's let's just tell her the information we got. Go ahead. Ma'am, I found out who makes the leaflets. It's Bellin. Galura Bellin, that fetcher. I can't believe she'd do this to me. I'm reporting this to the magistrate. This is ridiculous. Thank you for your help. Here's your payment as promised. Yes. Well, that's one quest fulfilled, I guess. Um, so we did this, and there we go. And now we're going to check the sewers for the mysterious killer. If they are in the sewers, which I highly suspect, actually, can access, then this means that we have solve all the quests in the game. Good. This is a dumber woman. What is she cursing me with, by the way? Absorb fatigue. Interesting. The day god of dagger. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Now I'm just going to use my parapod. And that was all my magic. But I can, first of all, restore health. And then. Use my so that's Dreamer Prophet. Okay, she has a crude bronze key. She has some copper. That's actually that looks like since she coppers me. That looks like like she's associated with those whoever was in that cave that we spelunked last time. She has a wooden stuff, which isn't actually of value that much. And she has the Dagoth Dagger, who absorbs and drains fatigue. That's interesting. So it absorbs on touch when strikes. So basically, I, I hit someone, it absorbs fatigue for 30 seconds, and it drains the same amount for half the time. That's interesting. Um, it's, how much is it worth? 22. I'm actually not going to. I'm just going to keep it there. I guess that actually was the killer. So let's head back to, to the watch. Oh, also, I should note down that I want to check check with a perfectory intel bunny I want to check back with them if they have if they have now something to say could be that their disposition now changed she doesn't like us anymore okay off to what the is it that is it is it is it here check where the boat is of course right on the other side I'm just going to go through here because that's faster than going around. Make it quick, Outlander. Here we go, and into the boat. But I'm still up there. Oops. Hello.
So this also trains, I don't know if it was athletics or acrobatics, taking fall damage. So I want to travel to, yeah, let's just stop by the Talvani compound. Check with the check with the um, at the factory with the woman. I think it was a woman who paid for handing out the leaflets. Let's see. I would check with the with the alchemist or someone who just stands here. Is there something I can do for you? The alchemist was down here. Yeah, that is the person. So let me just. Is there um, something I can do for say you? Haka? And then ask about the leaflets if I can. I can't. Interesting. That's really interesting that I can't confront them. Move along. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, but you're standing in the way. Thank you. What is it? Anyway, I'm, I'm looking to go to the temple and I'm running around and I can just use my um, CV intervention. Okay. So now we're in the temple and I'm looking for is it the hyphen where the temple boss is. No. Three blessings, Sarah. I'm not looking for the temple boss. I'm looking for the the watch. The boss of these guys. And that was not the hyphen, but I'm not sure where that was. Hall of Justice, I think it was the Hall of Justice. Office of the Watch, Ordinator Barracks, Ordinator Barracks, Justice of I guess it's the office of the watch. Uh, it's just upstairs. Oh, that's the one upstairs. That's the right upstairs. No. Is it? Justice offices. Yeah, this is because the map is not three-dimensional. Uh, let me check here. So this is here. I think I get it upstairs here. Okay, so ordinator barracks and office of the watch. So good to see you. Greetings, Nighty. I need someone to deliver my apologies for me, and you look like you have a way with your words. Apologies? I'm afraid I was rather drunk last night when I ran into Trebonius Artorius, that arrogant fool. Oh, I hear you. It seems that the drink took over my tongue and I called him a flathead. Now I have a horrid rash. No matter what I do, no matter how many potions I use or spells I cast, it won't go away. I've tried everything. If you give him my most sincere apologies, maybe he'll make it go away. I do it myself, but I'm feeling a little under the weather. I'll pay you 50 gold for your trouble. Sure, why not? Good, take this book to him and tell him I'm truly sorry. You'll find him in the Mage's Guild, here in Vivek. He's a rather powerful wizard, as I've learned. Well, you know what? And he is a flathead. Great That's not the guy that we were talking uh, about. Don't I know you from somewhere? Back to Tribunal, because it is, I guess, after that one. Um, is this about the work I mentioned? Yes, it is. According to your report, the Dunmore woman you killed matches the description given us. We'll dispatch ordinators to follow up, but I believe you've identified and executed the killer. On behalf of the city and of the office of the Watcher, thank you. 
And now for the reward I promised. I'll give you a choice. You may either have an Indril Helm and Cuirass, or a Belt of the Armor of God. The Helm and Cuirass are heavy armor and useful only to a strong fighter. Not me then. These items belong to one of the Ordinators, who were killed, and it is fitting that they should be the reward to the one who avenged his murder. However, we ask you not to wear this armor in Vivek City, for you may be mistaken for an Ordinator and Guard. Alternatively, the belt of the armor of God provides magical armor and improves the resistance against hostile spells and should be useful for any adventurer. Which would you like? Being mistaken for an ordinary an ordinator could also be interesting, but I'm going to take the belt because it's useful to me now. Very good. Please accept the belt with our thanks and accept on behalf of Vivek City our thanks for ridding us of this dangerous killer. First of all, this means we have done the killings in Vivek, which means we have now no more tasks in Vivek. Now let's try out that belt. Now I've updated the quests. So the belt is here, and it is cast when used. Damn it, I was hoping for a constant effect. Fortify attribute willpower for 30 seconds. Sanctuary and Shield. Okay. I think this is actually not that interesting. I mean, willpower is ability to resist, so it is ability to resist magic and all that stuff, but uh, I was hoping for a constant effect. Constant effects are very, very rare. No, thank you. Should have taken the Ordinators as well. Let's head to Trebonius. This is to the Hall of Wisdom, so let's just... Get out of here. And I think if I head out north... What words do you have for me, Sigazan? None. Khajiit has no words for you. St. Delin exactly, and now I can just go here, take the boat, travel to uh, wherever. And travel up to the foreign quarter. Back up there, I don't have any magic. I Speak can't use my levitation spell. Get back up there and then bring the book and the apologies to Trebonius. And check what else I can do. I just wanted to quickly travel back to to Balmora, and so I stopped by Vivek Upper Waste Works. So I need to get around here again. Anyway, then I can ask first ask Edwina if she knows something about the dwarves, and then ask, then go back and check on my duties. So first of all, the flathead. Hi, I've I've been tasked to bring to bring you apologies from someone. This book is from Terror. Well, it's about time he learned some humility. I'm touched by the gesture, nonetheless. He's something for that rush of his, and a little something for you. 
rising rising force portion. And of course, hello I'm there. there. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Of course, I need to go back. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up because I don't want to do this. And then this. And I can just bring the potion and then return back to Trigonius without, without much time. That's not the one. It is a confusing layout, in my opinion. And I guess this is on purpose. So the watch. I see this land suits you. I brought your you apologies. Welcome you freely, Outlander. I see. All is forgiven. He gave you something for me. Excellent. I'm feeling better already. Since you did such a good job, here's extra 50 gold. What do you know about the latest rumors? The Bemis gang has taken up in the tombs somewhere under Vivek. I am never to... Whatever. <laughs> Some kind of gang. Uh, recall. <coughs> okay, he doesn't follow up on the apologies, and I'm going to now head to Edvina Aldrun. Maybe she knows something about the dwarves. Ooh, so many blue things. Um, well, I guess these are just... Yeah, these are just... Um, um, I can't ask about the disappearance of the dwarves. Well, Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we can't, talk about? Can't tell me about Trebonius. Well, she... <laughs> I wish the guild were led by someone who showed more respect for for the major skilled. So yeah, he. If everyone thinks he's an idiot, I remember correctly. I didn't read that out loud because it was already gray. So I guess we already did read it. So let me travel to Bona. Maybe she knows. No, she doesn't know about the. What can I do for you, friend? <sighs> Good friend, this is an honor. It's an honor to me too. This is a bargain restore spell, honestly. So many restore fatigues. I think I can just sell all these five. Um, a guillotine, a guillotine. Oh yes, let me buy these two. Thank you. But what do you train, by the way? Conjuration, which is very good. Because it is uh, something I need for the Telvani. Um, okay, so let's see, Major Skilled, uh, Ring of Ephraim, let's bring the notes to Ring of Ephraim. I am awaiting for Itamarill's notes. Well, they are here. Good work, mighty. You'll go far in the major skill. Oh, just click these away. Oh, little secret. Somebody said Larius Farrow over at Fort Moonmoth is looking for you. Said he wanted to talk to you. Don't know what about. Let me add this to the random people. Talk to Larius Farrow at Fort Moonmoth. If I remember correctly, Fort Moonmoth was a um, close by, like around the corner. What do you tell can tell me about Trebonius? Ha! Imperial Swit! 
He knows nothing of the Dunmer and even less of politics. When you're speaking with him, just nod your head and smile, and then forget everything he said. Okay, so even the quest. Do you have more duties for me? I believe Teshpi Ashibael in Margan has been practicing necromancy. Teshpi Ashibael. Right. Teshpi lives in Margan. She's the one who's been practicing necromancy. Necromancy? Yes. Find her and kill her. The Mage's Guild cannot tolerate necromancers. Well, I've already killed necromancers, so... Can you train me in anything? Can you say system alteration and illusion with spells? It's human visibility, interesting. Head burden. Also an interesting thing. Jump and feather. Okay. You well, flatter me with your attention, Outlander. And here we are, a new recording of Morrowind. I think this is the same episode for you, but for me, multiple weeks have been passed. Up to the point that actually I have run out of episodes, but who cares? So, <clears throat> I don't know we... where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Oh, thank you very much, but I don't like you particularly well, to be honest. You're just a bit too arrogant. Still, we're going to check about that necromancer in Margan. So, Margan was reachable via Siltstrider. So, let's just head over to there. There is someone watching me. I can tell. Oh, you can tell that someone's watching you. I'm not watching you, I was just passing by, you know. Okay, and here we go. Silver Sarilla to let me travel to um well, let me first see where my gun is. So check the world. I think it was down somewhere here. That's Molotmar. Suran. Is Morgan up here? That's Gnesis, I know. That's a weird place. There is Morgan. So we're going to Bal Isra Aldrun, so let's try. Where would you like to go? I would like to go to Aldrun. Let's let's try this and see if we can then. Um, sir, can you can you, despite that storm, do you still offer offer travel uh, services? Well, let's see where he takes me. See Aldrun, Balmora, Gnesis, Cool, or Margan. And yes, I only clicked that to remove the blue entry here. Margan, this is where you want to be. Yeah, I know this this sandstorm annoys me too. But I mean, to still. So we are looking for a necromancer called Tashpi Ashibael. I hope I'm not boring you because uh, I'm boring you in the way that I already did this because um, I'm not looking at notes. Well, yeah, exactly. A grumble, grumble, grumble. And there is their hut. Tashpi Ashibael. That's the name I have noted down. So, let's enter here and see what happens. Make it quick, Outlander. Home Elise of the Blessed Amalexia. The Anticipations. The Pilgrim's Path sounds more like a temple person, to be honest. We can use this, we can do this. I don't know if reading the books already is a... I think it isn't, so let me just... Let me just drop a little quick save and read the book. Speak, Traveler. Yeah, just re just reading the books is okay. Good, but I'm going to you know I'm going to talk. To My pleasure, Nighty. I'm Tashpi Shibuel. What can I do for you? Is this your first visit to Margan? Actually, no. I've been in Bargan before, but um, I've I've been told something that that there is some kind of necromancy going on here. Necromancy? I'm not a necromancer. Who said I was a a necromancer? Well, Ren is Athras. Ah, I see. I refuse to join the Mages Guild. I chose to practice healing among my people, away from the politics of the guild. Since I was wealthy and not well born like Renis, ah, well, it's not important now. Maybe I know a way out of this situation. It's just as I thought, Renis Athras being so super overly arrogant, so I'm not just going to kill her, I'm actually going to try to find a way n without killing her and annoying Renes Ephrus in the way. So, tell me more. If Renes has held a grudge this long, it would be best for me to leave for the mainland. 
There are plenty of towns that could use a healer. Tell Renis Ephris that I'm dead. I will leave Vardenfell, and Renis will never know. I agree. I'll let you go, even if you were a necromancer, to be honest. I will leave for the mainland as soon as I get things together. There are many other uptowns in need of a healer. Tell Renis Ephris that I'm dead. Okay, bye. <sighs> Don't worry. She will think you're dead. So let me let real quick check if there's other things we need to be done. Nope, that was the only thing. Which we now have finished. Yes, I know I could have shown that to you, the local police, uh, shown that to you while I was doing it, but. Um, I just didn't want to take it much longer. I'm showing the to-do list takes a bit more time. So where will you take me? To Morgan, Aldrin, Nisus, and Cool. Well, from Morgan, obviously. So we're going to go to Aldrin. And while we're at it, we uh, have a quest to talk to Edwina Elbert about the disappearance of the dwarves. So we're going to use the Mage Guild transport here. And on the way, talk to Edwina. You shouldn't be. Nope, that's right. I should be inside. Ugh. All this sand in my fur. I'm not going to lick that clean. I need to take a bath or something. Okay, let's see. Edwina, do you know anything about the disappearance of the dwarves? Seems like I ca actually can't ask her. And she doesn't have any duties, obviously. Well, I find myself that one in pleasant is company. A, Please share your thoughts. That one is a dead end, so let me real quick. Uh, let me real quick update that one. Find out something uh, about the disappearance of the. Damn, the typos of the dwarves. Damn. There we go. So we just need to ask around random people. Let me see if I've got something in our room. Let me do it. In, let me see. Ah, uh, yes, we do have. Check for quests in our room. We didn't do that yet. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it, and if it's boring, I'm just going to cut it away. See, and that's that's why I didn't do that. I think publicly because I always forget to turn it off. Door to answer. I must be going, so if you could make it quick. Um just going to do that. So Fighter Skill obviously doesn't have any quests for me because I'm not one member. And a rat in the pot. If you're looking for someone in particular, well, they are just telling me. Speak Traveler Khajiit has no words for you. Nope. I was just checking if there's the good free topic. How about the latest rumors? Do you know what the Legion does with the stolen goods they take off the prisoners? They stick them in evidence chests right there in the forks. This, of course, is a hint that I can get my stuff back, my stolen goods back, when I get caught. Go that's, ahead. That's the idea. You know something? She's your first training. Security sneak at acrobatics. I'm just going to so put what's one this more regarding? point in security. And get some, some probes. Quality 0.75. Yep. I'm able to afford them anyway. Um, My time is precious. And the probes is what the security is for because I don't have a spell to disarm traps, and I, I even assume that there are no spells. Do you offer training? Athletics, alchemy, unarmored. Let's do one point in alchemy. And he has some rumors. Head of the Thieves Guild is pretty mad about some missing artifacts. 
Yes. Summoned by another. Questions again. And reading the black arrow, since it's only laying here, I'm going to make an impromptu story time here. The Black Arrow Part 1 by Georgic Ljuin. I was young when the Duchess of Woda hired me as an assistant footman in her summer palace. My experience with the ways of the titled arist aristocracy was very limited before that day. There were wealthy merchants, traders, diplomats, and officials who had large operations in Eldenrood and ostentatious palaces for entertaining, but my relatives were all far from those social circles. There was no family business for me to enter when I reached adulthood, but my cousin heard that an estate far from the city required servants. I was, it was so remotely located that there were that there were unlikely to be many applicants for the positions. I should read the sentence before, uh, in my head before I read it out loud. I walked for five days into the jungles of Valenwood before I met a group of riders going my direction. There were three Bosmer men, one Bosmer woman, two Breton women, and a Dunmo man. Adventurous from the look of them. Are you also going to Moliva? asked Prolissa, one of the Breton women, after we made after we had made our intro introductions. I don't know what that is, I replied. I'm seeking a domestic position with the Duchess of Woda. We'll take you to her gate, said the Dunmer Miss and Aiken, pulling me up to his horse. But you could be wa but you would be wise not to tell her grace that students from Moliva escorted you. Not unless you don't really want the position in her service. Aiken explained himself as we rode on. Moliva was the closest village to the Duchess's estate, where a great and renowned archer had retired after a long life of military service. His name was Hiomaste, and though he was retired, he had begun to accept students who wished to learn the art of the bow. In time, when word spread of the great teacher, more and more students arrived to learn from the master. The Breton women had come all the way from the western reach of High Rock. Aiken himself had journeyed across the continent from his home near the great volcano in Morrowind, which is where we are. He showed me the ebony arrows he had brought from his homeland. I have never seen anything so black. From what we've heard, said Kopeo, one of the Bosmer men, the Duchess is an imperial whose family has been here even before the empire was formed, so you might think that she was accustomed to the common people of Valenwood. Nothing could be further from the truth. She despises the village and the school most of all. I <laughs> suppose she wants to control all the traffic in her jungle, laughed Perlitza. I accepted the information with gratitude and found myself dreading more and more my first meeting with the intolerant duchess. My first sight of the palace through the trees did nothing to, ass to assuage my fears. It was nothing like any building I'd ever seen in Valenwood. A vast edifice of stone and iron with a jagged row of battlements like the jaws of a great beast. Most of the trees near the palace had been hewn away long ago. I could only imagine the scandal that must have caused, and what fear the Bosmer peasants must have had of the Duchy of Water had allowed it. In their stead was a wide, grey-green moat circling in a ring around the palace, so it seemed to be on a perfect, if artificial, island. I had seen such sights in tapestries from High Rock and the Imperial Province, but never in my homeland. There'll be a guard at the gate, so we'll leave you here, said Aiken, stopping his horse in the road. It'd be best for you if you weren't damned by association with us. I thanked my companions and wished them good luck with the schooling. They rode on and I followed on foot. In a few minutes' time, I was at front, as the front gate which I noticed was linked to tall and ornate railings to keep the compound secure. When the gatekeeper understood that I was there to inquire about a domestic position, he allowed me past and signaled to the other guard across the open lawn to extend the drawbridge and allow me to cross the moat. There was one last security measure, the front door, an iron monstrosity with the water coat of arms across the top, reinforced by more strips of iron, and a single golden keyhole. The man staying guard unlocked the door and gave me passage into the huge, gloomy grey stone palace. Her grace greeted me in her drawing room. She was thin and wrinkled like a reptile, cloaked in a simple red gown. 
it was obviously that she never smiled. Our interview consisted of a single question. Do you know anything about being a junior footman, footman in the employment of an imperial noblewoman? Her voice was like ancient leather. No, your grace. Good. No servant ever understands what needs to be done, and I particularly dislike those who think they do. You're engaged. Life at the palace was joyless, but the position of junior footman was very undemeaning, uh, demanding. I had nothing to do on most days except to stay out of the duchess's sight. At such times, I usually walked two miles down the road to Moliva. In some ways, there was nothing special or unusual about the village. There are thousands of identical ones in Valenwood, but on the hillside nearby was Master Hill Master's Archery Academy, and I would often take my luncheon and watch the practice. Prelissa and Aiken would sometimes meet me afterwards. With Aiken, the subjects of the conversation were very seldom straight far from archery, though I was very fond of him, and I found Prelissa a more enchanting companion, not only because she was pretty for a Breton, but also she seemed to have interests outside the realm of marksmanship. There's a circus in High Rock I saw when I was a little girl called the Quill Circus, she said during one of our walks through the woods. They've been around for as long as anyone can remember, you have to see them if you ever can. They have plays and sideshows and the most amazing acrobats and archers you have ever seen. That's my dream, to join them someday when I'm good enough. How will you know when you're good enough? I said, I asked. She didn't answer, and when I turned, I realized that she had disappeared. I looked around, bewildered, until I heard laughter from the tree around me. She was perched on a branch, grinning. I may not join as an archer, Maybe I'll join as an acrobat, she said, or maybe as both. I figured that Valenwood would be the place to go see when I could learn, uh, to, to go see what I could learn. You've got all these great teachers to imitate in the trees here, those ape men. She coiled up, bracing her left leg before springing forward on her right. In a second, she had leapt across to the neighboring branch. I found it difficult to keep talking to her. The Imga, you mean? I stammered. Aren't you nervous up that height? It's a cliché, I know, she said, jumping to an even higher branch, but the secret is to not ever look down. Would you mind coming down? I probably should anyhow, she said. She was a good thirty feet up now, balancing herself, arms outstretched on a very narrow branch. She gestured towards the gate, just barely visible on the other side of the road. This tree is actually as close as I want to get to your duchess's palace. I held back a gasp as she dove off the branch, somersaulting until she landed on the ground, knees slightly bent. That was the trick, she explained, anticipating the blow before it happened. I expressed to her my confidence that she would be a great attraction at the quill circus. Of course, I, had now, I know now that it never was to be. On that day, as I recall, I had to return early. It was one of the rare occasions when I had work of a sort to do. Whenever the duchess has guests, I was to be at the palace. That is, not to say that I had m any particular duties, except to be seen standing at attention in the dining room. The stewards and maids worked hard to bring in the food and to clear the plates afterwards, but the footmen were purely a decorative a formality. But at least I was an audience for the drama to come.